about our show. It's so hard to talk about it without revealing things that haven't been revealed yet, because most of the time I don't even know what episode is revealing what reveal. <laughs> I have accidentally revealed a spoiler that I didn't know was a spoiler, and I'm not gonna say because I don't wanna remind people because I don't know that people really caught onto it. I made a joke and then it ended up being right. <laughs> The showrunner, he wasn't mad. He was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> no more jokes, I'm just gonna zip it. This season, Veronica's definitely focused on college and getting into a good school, but also doing it her way. There's gonna be moments where she feels like her father is meddling with her decisions, so she kind of takes matters into her own hands. I always feel like Veronica's constantly trying to remove herself from her family and be independent. Veronica Gomez is Veronica's new chosen name because she feels like the Lodge name is tainted now with both of her parents being in prison. So she's trying to establish a new identity and changing her name is a good way to get there. Veronica and Archie are going strong this season. There hasn't been any conflict yet. I think Veronica's mostly just supporting him throughout you know, the recent tragic things that have happened in his life, losing his father and her just kind of being there for him through that. This season is a lot more about high school, senior year, a lot of first, lasts, and everyone in Riverdale kind of coming to terms with the fact that they're all gonna be going separate ways. I was thinking about that the other day, applying for college was the most stressful time of my life, especially because I was auditioning for theater school and they have like unifieds, which are like auditions where it's like this one building with a bunch of different school reps and you go to, from room to room auditioning for different schools and it was like a super overwhelming experience. I was flying to Chicago, LA, New York. I think I applied to like 14 schools. It was a lot. But I had a lot of fun senior year. I wasn't as entrepreneurial. Uh, I was definitely getting a little case of senioritis towards the end. I think I had like 38 absences. I was like, I got into school, like I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna enjoy my senior year. If I was skipping school, I was like at home. Cause it's not like other people were skipping with me. It was just like, I'm just gonna stay in cause I didn't do my homework or some shit like that. <laughs> Riverdale has absolutely made me a more confident performer. It's like working out. You know, you're working out this muscle every day. And I know not every actor gets that opportunity. You know, especially if you work more in films, it's like every once in a while you have like a big project and you're there for like a couple months and then you have a break. But like this is like our every day, all day. Like I've gotten way better at memorizing lines. Like I can do it 30 minutes before a scene, sometimes 10 minutes before a scene. Like it's, it's become like a skill that's just so in me now. It's one of those shows that really challenges you constantly. Like there's always crazy stuff happening, different scenarios every episode. We play with so many different genres, so many different emotional ranges. We always talk about on the show how much Riverdale like challenges us to like be able to get away with saying things that maybe are ridiculous on the page and like definitely are ridiculous because that's our show, but just making them sound real and grounded. And now I feel like I can go and do like any other type of script and feel comfortable, you know, because I've been so pushed out of my comfort zone. I think I've grown more confident in myself to be like, firm about what I want, what I want to do and what I don't want to do, and just voicing that, you know? Because no one is really gonna look out for you besides yourself, so you really just gotta be in tune with yourself and what you want. You can't knock me down.